Hello YouTube, so today I'll be talking about Princess Maker 2 Regeneration issues with censoring. So this is a remake of Princess Maker 2, which is a simulation game where you have to raise this girl to the age of 18 and depending on what you do in the game, she will have a different ending. <laughs> she can get married to different people, she can get uh, different kinds of jobs, etc. As you would with um, lots of these uh, simulation games. So, so, so the big issue. Firstly, it was originally released or going to be released on Switch, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and Steam. And the versions sounds good, right? It's a remake of an older game that was released in, I think, Saturn and those eras, 93, I think. The issue here is that for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, it was going to be uh, delayed and they just announced that they removed some endings and they removed some options within the game. I mean, it's a remake, so you expect these changes. These changes are only going to be on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, well, the Sony consoles. And you might ask, well, what did they change? So let's open the article. So it says here that uh, they removed the item that makes the daughter, the princess, bust size bigger. So it's like a cosmetic, I guess, option where you can make the girl to have bigger boobs. They removed that. They also removed two endings, which is getting married with the father and getting married with the butler. Now you might think, oh, that's disgusting because they're so much older. And the father is a stepfather and he's supposed to be you as the main character. I mean, it sounds weird, but usually in these types of games, if you look at it like a, like a romantic simulator, I guess it's weird that you can't get the ending with the character you're spending time with. I kind of understand why they removed it, because nowadays it's more strict with those types of things. But I mean, they didn't remove it for Switch or Steam. So uh, the bus side thing, I think it's stupid. It's not like you're forced to use it. You can choose not to use it. But let's take a look at all the comments in Japanese. So the article says they remove things like the item that makes the bus size bigger, the ending with the butler and the father. It says like, so it means that they might have moved, removed other things too. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 is the nerfed version. It shouldn't be an issue with um, getting married to the father because they're not related by blood. I understand that it's a little difficult, but with the butler, they're not even the same species. I guess Sony has something against that too. What a day to live in when the PlayStation games are more censored than Nintendo games. We had something like this too and this person posted a picture of a game called Labyrinth. What was it called? You know, Omega Labyrinth where the girl's boob got bigger in the dungeons or something where the bigger boobs you had, better stats you had, I don't remember, but it was a roguelike game with like simulation. The PlayStation version had um lots of censoring oh i remember that game princess maker i didn't know it was going to be or it was released on playstation i remember playing it on pc 98. i understand that uh items like making the booth bigger and stuff like that is not good in this day and age but it's hard that you can't even get married with the uh, the parent that raised you. So you can get married with the demon lord or dragon, but you can't get married with the stepdad or the father that raised you and the uh, uh, butler that's from another species. It's not very easy to understand. I wonder if they have other, they'll have other, other options for the marriage ending. Maybe they can add a Pat Patricia or Anita as a candidate. I remember back in the day, they were still seen as something crazy, but it also seemed like something stupid and fun, so it was pretty interesting. I already have the Sega Saturn version, so I'm not gonna buy it, but I don't understand why Sony does stuff like this. People who have never played the game or new fans of the game will obviously go to another another, another console. It's incredible that they're 
delaying the game and then making the game worse. This person says, um, ever since Sony started uh, taking into account po being politically, politically correct, they've been very disappointing. I understand that they might want to nerf the international release, but why would they nerf the original release in Japan? Political correctness is not being diverse. It's like forcing your point of view on other people. Is the person who's in charge of PlayStation okay in the head? It's going to lose against the box, the Xbox. This person says, although I think it doesn't really matter, I kind of understand them removing the marriage ending with the stepdad. I think that the wedding ending or the marriage ending with the butler was a pretty cliche ending as a shoujo manga type type game type story. The the option to make the chest bigger is pretty normal in these types of games even for women and I just feel that the censoring from Sony is pretty sickening. I think this person is one of the few people who had like the opposite opposite um opinion. Getting married with the dad that's disgusting. They should remove these types of contents from console games completely. This person says, get rid of the censoring altogether and remake the game as is. If you have something to complain about, just don't get buy don't buy the game. So this person also has the opposite comment or opposite opinion, saying that these types of features shouldn't even exist. This is why they can't ever beat Nintendo. This person says, um, even if it's considered he's considered as the father, they're not even related. It's just a fantasy world, like a fake fictional world. Don't talk about things as if everything is real. This person says, I, will, I had pre-ordered play, the PlayStation 5 special pack, but I'm going to cancel it. Well, I already canceled it. Very sad. So yeah, as you can see, most people were upset. Other people were okay with it because I think it's disgusting or those types of features are disgusting. I honestly think that if they're going to remake an old game, why would they remake a game and change it? They shouldn't change or remove things unless it was because it's broken or whatever. I understand remove changing things because it didn't work or it was bad, like as a gameplay standpoint. But changing the story or things like that, I'm against. Because if you still have the option to play the original, just play the original then. Why would you remove these things when you can do everything you want in the game? In this case, in this particular case, those endings and those items are not, how do you call it? You're not going to end up using the item or you're not going to end up with those endings that you think are disgusting if you don't do those things, you know, because all the things that happen in the game depend on what you do in the game. If you as a player think that it would be disgusting for the girl to get married to the stepdad or to the butler, just don't do things that will end up with that ending because you can even not get married in the whole game. If you just play the RPG part, you, I think you turn into like a body bodyguard or something, things like that. So unless you are actively trying to get those endings, you shouldn't end up in that situation. Also, this game is pretty not real. <laughs> uh, there are other games that look more realistic and, you know, this game has lots of elements that aren't real. So it doesn't feel like this is in the real world, you know. You have dragons and demons and things like that, so it's like, uh, you can tell it's fictional. So I don't see the point in removing things like these just to uh, be politically correct, I guess. So I don't know. I think it's disappointing that Sony keeps doing this. I do think it's stupid because people who are already fans of the game will obviously, mostly, obviously, <laughs> probably prefer the uncensored version. The Switch and PC versions are going to release before the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 version. So why do you, I mean, I don't see the point in getting the PlayStation version instead of the other two. And I think it's actually good that they're releasing on Steam and Switch at the same time because 
maybe you don't have you don't play on pc like me in that case you get the switch version maybe you prefer better uh, performance better graphics you get the pc version or if you want the physical version you just get the switch version right so i don't see the point in even releasing it on playstation like who's going to prefer that censored version over the other two versions that do much better so anyways or unless they sell it for cheaper but i doubt that's gonna happen let me know what you guys think about this censoring issue again with sony hope to see you guys in the next video bye bye